Don't force yourself uh, in something you don't want to do. Happiness comes more from that than to set goals and objectives that are too much into numbers or titles. No one cares about job titles, I think. Hi, I'm Pietro Invernizzi. I'm from Milan and I'm uh, 39 years old. I'm currently head of content production at Prada. Before Prada, I, w I worked for an um, international TV commercial production company called H Films. And before that, I've done thousands of other jobs while studying and I studied philosophy. Uh, recently, I had the great pleasure of attending an uh, executive MBA at the SEC. My career path brought me to a um, managerial position where uh, instead of only producing content, I have also to manage uh, human resources, big budget and um, be a team leader. So I felt that uh, an MBA was uh, very important to complete my, my background and give me uh, art skills. But uh, honestly, also the, the, the big surprise, the, the, a positive surprise I had in, during the MBA uh, has been the soft skills I've learned. So for sure, a good balance, a good mix between these two uh, elements in the learning process. Yeah, I was studying philosophy and I was thinking at that time, 19, 20 years old, to, to keep studying in my life and, and, and eventually teaching philosophy in my life. But um, then uh, I was, uh, um, I started the process to be a professor in the university, but I, I suddenly learned, understood that um, it's kind of a religion, a mission to be a professor in the, in the Italian university system. And I was not so devoted to that. Uh, I also I had more material ambitions and curiosity. Uh, so I was looking, honestly speaking, I, I didn't know what to do at that time. I was not worried at all, but I was just like looking around and, and I tried, I, I did some stages, uh, I tried different uh, uh, jobs uh, and in the last uh, two years of the university. Um, and uh, a friend of mine told me, ah, you are very um, passionate about photography and uh, movies, so why don't you come to our production company to have an interview because they are looking for an assistant producer and uh, thanks to this job you will travel a lot and you will be on video set. So I said, okay, I come. And okay, then I started and the promise uh, was was reliable was true i started traveling a lot which is amazing especially at, at that age so in the 20s so i traveled a lot around the world on on tv commercials uh, set and uh, in three years i passed from being an uh, assistant producer then producer and then finally to be a, an international producer of uh, tv commercials from brands all over the world from all over the world so like uh, uh, Mitsubishi Russia, Vodafone Italia, um, uh, Fiat uh, um, and, and other uh, telecommunication companies. But then I was, uh, after three years and a half, something like that, I, I was tired of the uh, advertising system because it's quite sick somehow and, and there was a complete lack of free time and also you, it was impossible to schedule, to program, to plan a bit my private life because that's how it works. So you have to be ready to jump on a plane or to be in a meeting on Friday night uh, and you cannot plan anything in advance. So I was a bit sick of it. I was thinking to step back into my passions more than jobs and I, I love to sail so I'm a sailor in my free time and um, so I knocked at the door of the most important sailing team in Italy which is Luna Rossa sailing team that is owned by Prada and uh, they compete in the America's Cup. But so I knock at the Prada door, but for the sailing team, uh, after they say no way, that there, there is no room for anyone at the moment in the sailing team. It was uh, uh, 2010 at the time. 
And, but after two weeks, uh, secretaries from Human Resources called me back uh, saying, uh, your profile is very interesting for something else in the web digital uh, field. I was surprised because th that was not my background at the time. I, w I had no experience, no, was not qualified for something in digital. So, uh, however, if Prada called you, you go. Basically, they were looking for a project manager because they were renewing completely their digital position, their social media channels. At the time, there the, the were not social media channels in Prada, so they were about to open like Facebook, Instagram, etc., and renewing completely the e-commerce, the websites. Uh, and so I had the amazing opportunity of learning a lot from uh, different departments because I was the project uh, leader of this uh, uh, kickoff uh, of new website, new social media um, presence, and, and so I worked a lot with IT department, with uh, um, photo studio, photo production, with retail and uh, products department, uh, collecting all the info and trying to put everything in a schedule and fitting in the budget and delivering uh, the project to uh, yeah, in time and in budget. So basically a producer job fitted into the company as a project manager. And um, gradually the digital team grow has grown a lot, enlarged a lot. Uh, the importance of uh, digital increased exponentially. And so uh, I was able to left the more um, technical uh, jobs related to e-commerce, to uh, development, to IT, to uh, even social media, to the right person, more, more qualified person, people. And, and um, I moved back to my field of uh, knowledge, uh, so content production, video, videos and photos, and so more properly into communication and that's where I am and uh, so I, I, I was in charge of um, uh, I was in charge of several uh, productions of uh, small medium big projects and, and now I'm, I'm very glad of producing all the contents for uh, Prada. Don't worry like uh, don't be stressed about money about uh, the need of success I think if and I, I'm still repeating this to myself uh, if you follow what you like uh, uh, you will most probably succeed uh, because I mean it's it's quite a common saying that if you like what you do you, you, you will never work it's not work it's something that you like don't force yourself uh, in something you don't want to do. Uh, this is also a, a great lack of our generation that maybe some old parents do not understand, but we are free. We, we, we know that we can try to do what we want to do, what we like to do. Happiness comes more from that than to set goals and objectives that are too much into numbers or titles. No one cares about job titles, I think.